Our thanks to Tex Motes and also to Ann Sundin, who have served as parade marshals today. The 10th and final race at the Illinois State Fair, the $86,000 Alexander Memorial. This race dates back to 1894. Number one is Cosington, owned by Little E, Limited Liability Corporation of New York, New York. Bob Bencal trains, Dave McGee drives. 1A is Elegant Man, owned by Mindy B, LLC, and Alistair Stables Incorporated of New York and New Jersey, trained by Bob Bencal, Mike LaChance is up. Two Natural Arrogance, owned by Steve Brown of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by Steve Waller, John Campbell in the bike. Number three, Cordial Martini, owned by Rex King, Eugene Thayer, Alan Viller, and Joseph Courier of Summersville and Marlboro, Connecticut, and Leland, Illinois, trained by Gary Cameron the second, Andy Miller in the bike. Four is Cadabra, owned by Abracadabra Stable of Fort Perry, Ontario, trained by Jimmy Tactor, the driver Dave Miller. Number five is Woodchip, owned by Tom Pollard of Danville and Dirk Simpson of Sherman, trained by Dirk Simpson, he's the driver. Number six, Pure Cadillac, owned by Homer and Jay Hochstetler of Crete, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler. And number seven, Chipmate, owned by Christina Tactor of Allentown, New Jersey, and by Kenneth Ross of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, trained by Jimmy Tactor. Jimmy is the driver. The Alexander Memorial, including the return to the Illinois State Fair of Illinois-bred Cadabra, just five minutes away. Again, they're at the post, the gate's rolling. The Alexander Memorial named in honor and memory of longtime Review Association member and officer George Alexander of Sugar Grove, Illinois, who bred many top Grand Circuit trotters, including Jen Mist. Here they come for the race named in his memory. Cosington is off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Pure Cadillac goes for the lead. Elegant Man gets away second. Cordial Martini comes out third. Natural Arrogance away fourth. Cadabra will settle against the rail in fifth. Chipmate comes out sixth. Woodchip is racing seventh. And Cosington is the distant trailer after making a break just before the start. There goes Pure Cadillac up to get the lead by two lengths before the quarter mile mark. Elegant Man is second by a length and a half. Cordial Martini racing third, 27 and one for the opening quarter. And then further back comes Natural Arrogance in the fourth position, followed by Cadabra, Chipmate, Woodchip, Cosington is last. They hit the back stretch, Pure Cadillac leads it by a length. Elegant Man is second, and now makes a move toward the outside. There goes Elegant Man to challenge Pure Cadillac for the lead. Margin of two and a half more to Cordial Martini in third, then Natural Arrogance in fourth, and Cadabra is fifth. Now he starts to come off the rail, seven lengths off the leader. They got the half in 55 and four fifth seconds. Elegant Man leads it by one length to Pure Cadillac. Natural Arrogance moves up in third, two lengths off the lead. Cadabra moves with cover behind him. Then Cordial Martini, who gets the shuffle back to fifth, inside of Chipmate, and then Woodchip, Cosington is last. At the three-quarter, Elegant Man leads at three parts of a length. Natural Arrogance is second. Cadabra third on the outside. He will have to come three wide off the turn. He's a length and a half off the lead. Three-quarters, 125 and three. Natural Arrogance comes to the front at 26 to one. And here comes the odds-on favorite, Cadabra, to throw down the challenge. Pure Cadillac bounced into the rail at the head of the stretch, well behind the leader, Cadabra. And Cadabra begins to shake clear on a five-length lead. Here comes Chip mate to second on the outside of natural arrogance it's a successful return to the illinois state fair for cadabra he wins the alexander memorial by five lengths in 153 and four chip mate was second natural arrogance was third there is a general stewards inquiry for race 10 involving the incident of the head of the stretch which involved the five wood chip and the six pure Cadillac, both of those horses up and on their feet, and both of those drivers, Dirk Simpson and Homer Hochstetler, appear to be okay. We are happy to be able to report that. And again, the inquiry will not concern the unofficial winner. From Stephanie Pennington, George and Jean Galen will make the presentation of the trophy, the Alexander Memorial, named for the late George Alexander, Jean's father, Again, a man who bred a lot of top trotters, 
It's only fitting that we remember him with a race of this caliber at the Illinois State Fair. We told you Dave Miller is the leading driver so far this year on the Grand Circuit. We'll see if we can talk to the winning connections after the trophy presentation. Again, 472 is the unofficial result. General inquiry continues involving the incident at the head of the stretch between the five and the six. Fair and scoring his first state fair victory, but this man's been here before, Jimmy Tactor. Jimmy, originally, you are from Sweden, where you grew up in a racing family. Let's talk about Cadabra. First of all, did Homer Hochstetler drive a hard bargain when he sold this horse? Well, a little bit, but, uh, you know, of course, you know, you know he had a good horse, and, uh, you know, it's, you know, a lot of money for him to turn down to, you know, it's, it's one of those things, you know, when you own a horse like that, you know, uh, you hate to see them go, but same token, you know, uh, you know, they're into it financially, they make a living in this game, so, you know, it's a lot of risk buying a horse and not selling a horse, I mean, this horse could, uh, break down earlier or whatever, you know, after, now, you know, of course, this horse is worth the money we pay for him. Obviously, the horse was not eligible, the Hambletonian, that's in the past. A lot of people from here in Illinois are wanting to know, is he eligible for the World Trotting Derby, and if not, will you supplement? Uh, yes, we're going to supplement in, uh, in the Trotting Derby, and uh, basically, he can be supplemented in uh, every major race from now on. You know, Hambletonian is the only race that uh, this horse could not participate in. Folks, those of you from Illinois, would you like to see an Illinois bred win that World Trotting Derby in a few weeks at DuCoin? Jimmy, all the best. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Jimmy Tactor, he's our winning trainer. More in a moment. <laughs>